Hello everyone, hi again. Now uh, in this module I'm going to tell you how you uh, predict the well logs uh, in the well where you don't have logs. Uh, so here right now I have made a small cartoon to explain how we are going to predict logs uh, in a well where we don't have logs. Right now I have three wells, well A, well B, well C. Uh, this blue section uh, represents the non-reservoir section and the green section represents the uh, reservoir section. If you can see, I have logs in well A in the non-reservoir section. For well B, we have logs in uh, uh, in the non-reservoir section, same as for C. So we have the well uh, logs in the non-reservoir section, all three wells. Uh, but in well A, I don't have any logs in the reservoir section. While uh, in well B and well C, I have the logs in, in the reservoir section. So if you look in this base map, my well is on the western side, B and C are on the eastern sides. Well B is 2 kilometers away from well A and well C is 4 kilometers away from well A. No, uh, the, techniques in the technique involved here is just by averaging the distance between two wells and then averaging the logs and then uh, copy pasting or uh, predicting here in the reservoir section. What, what this tech log uh, does? It average out uh, the logs on the basis of uh, the distance from the wells, and it predicts those uh, those average out values over here. Like if I I may say if I add these two values, uh, like averaging method, there are different methods uh, to average out the uh, uh, the logs uh, between two wells, and it'll just predict over here. So if I just copy paste over here, Control C and B, and <coughs> it will merge values like this over here it predicts the logs like over here so so on the top i have the actual logs on the base i have now predicted logs now i can uh, then i can qc the predicted logs in, uh, in tech log uh, uh, whether they matches with my lithology or not and then I can use for uh, this prediction uh, prediction uh, for the uh, further uh, analysis like petrophysical analysis later on when we have uh, the actual logs in the well log uh, in the in the well A uh, we can compare the predicted logs uh, with the uh, uh, with the actual logs and uh, then you can see the uh, delta or the error how much error was there uh, in your prediction and in your actual actual logs so there's a very handy technique. So I have uh, uh, used different terminologies over here. This blue line is the mean sea level, which is zero, and this dashed line is the ground level. And uh, and, the, uh, and above that, from where the logs are starting, it's basically cal calibrating or the rotary table. So our mostly logs are measured from the RT, which is basically the measure depth, and uh, and the, the measurements which are done below mean sea level are the uh, subsea depths. So let's jump into uh, our well A is the prediction well uh, where we are going to predict well B is the reference and well C is the reference. Right now I'm just using one well uh, uh, to remove the complexity. Uh, I'll show you how you are going to predict from uh, logs from well B to well A. Let's jump into tech log. So I have displayed two wells over here. Uh, if you can see over here I have log till PP1. PP1. Uh, not the fully uh, penetrated uh, or fully logged PP1 and below this is our uh, reservoir section where I don't have logs here I have complete logs so what I'm going to do I'm going to predict these logs over here so you go to the data tab and first of all open a new tab from here hit well predict button so it is asking me which logs you want to predict. I'll just click well 2. I'll use these variables. I want to predict DTCO and I want to predict gamma ray. You hit create. So this workflow manager opens. You just will uh, in T2, my data set is in MEM. I'll drag and drop MEM over here. And you go to your uh, one where you want to predict logs my I want to copy my data set in MEM I'll just drag and drop here 
I'll uncheck any log in the prediction um, from here the type of well uh, I have to define whether it's a reference well or it's a prediction well so here I'm going to do the prediction so I click it to prediction so my input logs are over here from the reference well from zonation tab I'm going to define the zones where I'm going to predict these logs open the zonation tab from global zonation I'll enter tops which I have imported then I'll go down and I want to predict logs for which formations I'll just select this from PP1 and I'll press control and select the other formations as well from for where I want to predict the logs I have selected the formations for which I want to predict the well logs. I'll just hit uh, this button which says insert zone from the zonation dock window. I click this one. So you see now the formations uh, which are in uh, this uh, R1 well and in the T2 well. Uh, one thing to remember and it's very important your zone names should be similar in both wells. If they are not similar it will not predict logs in those formations. If you go to the parameters, so basically I was going to predict uh, logs for this uh, nine formations. If there is uh, some ambiguity or difference in name of the formations, it will not consider those. For example, if my JR underscore SH has some different name, in the parameters you won't see this one because it is not going to predict uh, because it, it, it can it cannot find any seed or the input uh, in the reference or the prediction tab the prediction well so always use same names for the zones so what method it is using it's, it's using the distance method so you can distance use dist uh, distance method or the average method I'll just go with the average method I'll click on this one again and right click and fill down so it will use this average method why I'm using this average method uh, because right now uh, I don't have the coordinates in the wells uh, uh, because I don't have the module so I'll just use this average method if you have the module and you have the coordinates uh, in the wells you can use the distance method so when we have three or four wells and it will uh, use the distancing from the offset well for the prediction well and then it average out the data on the basis of distance so I'll just hit this play button so you, uh, you can see these blue curves so it has predicted logs in those formations this is well T2 this is well R1 so it has predicted logs on the basis of averaging method in this one so I'll just click on this log and right click and save variable and it uh, saves this variable with a suffix wp which means well predict I'll hit ok and this for gr right click save variable hit ok close this tab no close this one no I'll open a new tab so if you look in MEM so you have these predicted laws over here now you can uh, display in the previous window uh, I'll, I'll just drag and drop these logs over here this compressional slowness over here and the gamma ray log over here now you can see uh, it has predicted the logs in the non reservoir section as well so this is how you predict the logs uh, using well predict tool uh, with, within the uh, wells where do we don't have logs I hope you understood all the uh, workflow if you have any comments uh, feel free to contact uh, thank you for watching 
see you in the next episode bye bye